Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and we're going to take a look at how easily you can root this device. So bear in mind this will void your warranty as well as increasing your NOx counter. Now this process will not touch any of your data but it's always a good idea to have a backup of anything important. And with that being said, neither myself, Samsung or Google take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process. So do proceed at your own risk. To get started, head on over into your settings and scroll all the way down to the bottom where you have developer options. If like me you don't have it head on over into about device and then tap on build number about seven times until it says you are a developer. Now just while I'm here I'll just show you the model number of this particular device. It's SM-N910F. This is the international variant of the Galaxy Note 4 and when we go back a step and scroll back down again you can see we've got a developer option so tap on here and then enable USB debugging and accept the prompt and now turn off the device. Once the device is off, we're gonna go into download mode by pressing power, volume down and the home button simultaneously. So just pressing those now and we'll get a vibration here and it says a custom OS can cause critical problems. We know what we're doing. So we're gonna hit volume up to continue and now we can plug in the device into our computer. If you get a message saying your computer is installing drivers, let it be and continue to install those drivers. Once finished, head on over onto Chainfire's CF Auto Root download page. I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below. He's a great XDA developer and this wouldn't be possible without him. So if it helps you out, make sure you donate as well. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the download link. Once finished downloading, it will give you a zip file. I'm going to be using 7-zip to extract the zip file, which is a completely free application and I'll leave a link to it down in the description box and I'll just bring into shot here what it's extracted and you can see within here we've got the .tar.md5 file that we're going to flash as well as Odin so we're just going to load up Odin here the blue com port along the left hand side here symbolizes that the phone is talking to the computer correctly if you're using an older version of Odin it may be a yellow box but either way it needs to be lit up if it's not lit up then there's a communication problem between your phone and your computer so it may be worth trying a different USB lead maybe a different USB port maybe one at the back of the computer and finally if all else fails I would recommend removing the drivers and installing them fresh from the Samsung website but once you've got a COM port you're ready to rock leave everything else exactly as it is on the screen here and put a tick next to PDA then hit the PDA button and locate the .tar.md5 file that we've just extracted and then hit open it does some quick checks down here under the message screen and then hit start it's a very quick process it doesn't take too long at all and then you'll notice the phone reboot we can unplug it from the computer and just bring that in a little bit closer so you can see it. and you can says rebooting in 10 seconds so it's quite a quick process but as long as it takes just leave it be and you can see it's just going through the reboot motions now. Phone's rebooted, so we're just going to swipe in here and we can see Super SU, it says binaries need to be updated. We're going to hit on here. If it doesn't automatically pop up, just go into the application screen and you should see it from here. And it says the SU binary needs to be updated. Continue, yes. And we've got normal, no custom recovery here. So no twerp or clockwork mod based recovery. So. We'll give it as long as it needs to take here, shouldn't be too long. There we go, that's done and it's now provided us a message about Nox. Disable it, yes we need to disable it. And again, Nox was successfully disabled so we'll hit OK to this message. It says installation success, it is recommended that you reboot your device, we'll reboot it anyway. There we have it, phone's now rebooted so we'll swipe into it. Head on over into the Play Store, download a free root checker from Joey Krim. I've already got it installed so I'm going to hit open and it should give us a disclaimer we'll hit agree and that's fine we'll hit ok to that and we've got verify root so we're just going to hit verify root here and this is what we like to see we'll grant permission 
and boom congratulations this device has root access on android kitkat version 4.4.4 so that's how easily you can root the samsung galaxy note 4 as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there or hit me up on social media twitter and instagram at inamga4 i do post up quite a lot of photographs over on instagram from various devices so do check me out over there if you find this video informative and helpful do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's just down there it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time